What is going on, everybody? Washington here, back with another figure to review. And for this review, we're going to be reviewing another Marvel Legends figure. And this one is Vulcan. As you see in the bottom of the packaging, the X-Men and Vulcan, the name of the character, a figure from Hasbro. On top of the box, you see the Marvel Legends figure series. And this figure belongs to the Builder figure Bonebreaker Wave. And it also has a warning for choking Hasbro in small parts. And the age oriented from four years and up. And also on top of the box, you see a X Men logo there. And the window box, you see the figure with its accessories and a build a figure piece. Things that we're going to be seeing in a little bit. And on the side, you see a good artwork of the packaging of the figure. And the side, same thing as well. Down at the bottom, you see the barcode and the light, light, legal licensing, legal requirements. And the back of the packaging. And we get to see a really good artwork of the character. And a little, little bit of readout. If you guys want to pause it, feel free if you like. You can learn it many different languages, languages included. Down in the bottom, you see the list of the Builder figure figures of Bonebreaker. Starting from Wolverine all the way to Sabretooth. And Vulcan is actually the third figure with the build a figure piece. And at the bottom we see Marvel and Hasbro logo. So yeah, let's have a closer look at them. Okay, here we have the figure. And we're going to start off with measurement tape. And Vulcan measures up about 6 inches and a half. Which turns out to be between 16 centimeters. And yeah, this is Vulcan. And this guy is actually another Summers Brothers. He belongs to the, um, I think one of, one of the villains from uh, Galactic, and like he has this like cosmetic energy, or he has the ability to manipulate energy. And um, his first appearance was on the X Men Deadly Genesis issue number one back in January of tw of two thousand six. And yeah, he's the third brother of the Summer Brothers. That's Scott and Havoc, Cyclops or Havoc, however you want to say it, and uh, he's actually the younger brother, lost younger brother somewhere out there. He, uh, he got this. Uh, he was a younger brother, and then due to to his power, he like immediately um, his age. You know, he extended his age into like this big bad guy. You know, and he's actually a grown up now. So like. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's a really interesting uh, story. I mean, I don't want to spoil it, but I, I really recommend you to go read the X Men Deadly Genesis, starting off with um, Genesis number uh, issue number one. So yeah, it's a really interesting uh, story. But yeah, either way, this guy he has a lot going on. I mean, like, look at the paint job and the molding on the hair, really nice. Every piece is the individual, really nice artwork that he's got there going on. Um, no pupils because obviously, you know, due to his uh, cosmetic energy that he's got. And uh, yeah, he does have that appearance of, as a bad guy. Like, he's a bad guy. He's a villain. I mean, one of the Summer Brothers has gone rogue. <laughs> nice little bubbly arms. Pinless joints. That's excellent. Good art paint job. You know, the... You know, from the legs to the chest, it's actually a different red from the thighs and then the, the app right here. There's a little bit of different red. The gloves are molded in there, so they're not separately. Obviously, they're going to reissue this figure, which is good. Um, the backside, really nicely painted. And this guy actually does have a belt for the X-Men. And obviously, it's a different piece, too. It's not molded in there. Either way, it doesn't uh, doesn't limit any of the articulations, which is great. The boots, the boots are done nicely well. Nicely, sh nicely uh, shiny gold. You know, really nice. It matches, you know, with his belt. And the really dark, really dark uh, blue that he's got. He's got a, a really large upper chest. You can see there. He has a really nice big upper chest that he's got there too. 
really nice. And for accessories, obviously they weren't too generous. I mean, they gave us, I mean, five pieces in total, and three of them are the build a figure piece of Bone Breaker. It's got the upper chest without the head, and then two interchangeable close fist hands. And for Vulcan, we got two extra pair of hands, more like gripping hands or like opening hands. I mean, they could have at least gave us some of his uh, uh, energy effects that you see in the package. Just like we see right there. I mean, we already got the eyes there already. I mean, might as well give us some of that, you know, energy effect that he's got going on in there. But yeah. But yeah, I mean, Vulcan only came with two close fists and and the interchangeable open hands. But yeah, it's a really good looking figure. Really good job they did. But they could have given us more when it comes to the accessories. I mean, yeah, that's where they, they could have uh, given us more. They could have done better right there. Yeah. But either way, you know, for articulation, obviously, Vulcan's head is in the pole joint. Bolt pack. Rotation. Uh, range, looking up, really good. Looking down, pretty good. Tilt side to side, full rotation. Full 360. Ball joint in the shoulders, get good extension. Butterfly joints, pretty good. No pin joints, that's excellent. And he's got that swivel on the biceps, a really long tricep. Look at that. Wow. He's got double hinges on the, the elbows. He's got no rotation on the forearm. He's got rotation on the wrist and hinge as well. He's got that ab crunch. Uh, a little stiffy, but there it is. We already said that he's got that swivel on the on the waist. And obviously with the X-Men belt logo there. He's got the nice split. Good kicking range. Double hinges on the knees there. Swivel on the thighs. He's got the swivel on the shin right there by the boots. Hinge on the feet and pivot as well. He's got the pack holes too and then the stamp. And for comparison size, here you see him next to his brothers, Cyclops and Havoc. Both figures from Hasbro. Here you see him next to a 6 inch Wolverine and a 6 inch Spider-Man, Tom Holland Spider-Man. Both figures from Hasbro. Two 6 inch and a half DBZ figures from Dragon Stars. Here you see him with a 6 inch and a half Batman from DC Collectibles. And a 6 inch Bat Robin from Mattel. From the DC Multiverse here you see him with a Batman Endless Winter. And an Endless Winter Wonder Woman, both 7 inches and a half from McFarlane. One seven inch Dutch and one seven inch Ellen Ripley, both figures from NECA. Two 9 inch Cinemores from NECA. And of course, one 9 inch AVP Predator and one 8 inch and a half Predator from Predator 2. Both Predators from NECA. So yeah, what do you guys think of this figure? Would you add him to your X-Men collection? Would you add him to the Summers family? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching. I'll be seeing you guys for a another video. I mean, we're almost close to completing Bone Breaker, so we already got the upper chest. We still need a few more pieces, so stay tuned for that, and uh, I'll be seeing you guys next time.